Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. This is Nicole with Savvy Social Media and Online Business Strategies. And if you are new to the group, shout yourself out. We've had a lot of new people join us in the last week or so. So welcome to our Monday night live training at 8 p.m. Central. Uh, every single week, I come in here to give you a short little actionable training, something to think about and uh, things to do so you can move your business forward when it comes to being online. So tonight's topic, we are going to be discussing tooting your own horn and getting yourself out there and promoting yourself. And I've got some really fun changes coming up in the group that I want to share with you. We've got a new masterclass coming up that I want to share with you as well. So as you guys are on, say hello. Let me know that you're here. I love seeing who's here, um, you know, who stopped by so I can say thank you for being here. And um, just, you know, congratulate you for another week. So first off, I would love to hear, you know, what are you guys doing this weekend? What did you do? It was my husband's 35th birthday on Friday. So I kind of took Friday off and we did some family stuff and really kind of just chilled. It's, it's, I don't know about you guys. I'm a workaholic. So sometimes it's nice to just unload and, and like, just unplug and just be. So if, if you want to share what you did this weekend, I would love to hear guys, this is not just a, you know, a place for you to just pop in. Like this is a community. I love getting to know the group members. And a lot of that is just sharing about your personal life. So tell me about you. Uh, tell me that you're here. Hello to everybody who's saying hi. All right. So let's dive in. First up, there are going to be some really fun changes coming to the group. I have hired some help. I have an assistant now, which Woo! all about delegation. This is awesome. Um, but together over the next week, we are crafting a few things that uh, we are going to change kind of how the posts are. And we'll talk here in a minute about promoting yourself and about tuning your own horn and being damn proud about what it is that you have to do and the solutions that you provide. But if you don't do it, that's a problem, right? So I want to create an environment where you can where you can promote, where you can practice your pitch, where you can, you know, connect with other people who are in this group who very well may need some of your services, some of your products, some of the things that you have to offer, what it is that you do well. OK, so I'll share more about that. But let's first dive in and talk about are you promoting yourself? And as you guys join the group, uh, the questions have changed slightly over over the last year or so. But in general, I ask like, what is it that you're struggling with when it comes to social media? And what, what are you hoping to learn? Right. And I get a variety of different answers. But often I hear from people. I just don't know how to talk about what I do. I don't know how to promote myself. I don't know how to be out there and connect with people in a way that's not spammy. That's not sleazy. That's not going to turn people off. So a few things to say about that. Number one. I totally get where you're coming from because there are plenty of people who run online businesses and do the sleaze, who do the spam, who do the things that nobody likes and makes you go, oh, right? Can't say that I wasn't one of those people at one point in time. You live, you learn. When you know better, you do better. But if you don't tell people what you do, if you don't share your zone of genius, if you don't communicate the problem that you solve, the pain point that you get away from, the result, the pleasure point that they're desiring that you can help them get to. If you don't share that and communicate, communicate, uh -huh, communicate that with them, how in the world are you going to use social media to make sales, to sign clients, to gain customers, to enroll team members, to, you know, enroll people to your courses, whatever it is that you're doing. If you don't tell them what you do. OK, so I said in my post earlier today, which if you guys are in this group and you're not getting notifications, pop over to Savvy Social Media and Online Business Strategy, go into notifications, click all and get the notifications from the group, especially with the changes coming. You're going to want to see them. Um, but I posted earlier tonight, I said, look, like if you're not making the sales on social media, chances are there's one thing that's holding you back. Really, it probably is two things. So let me just say there's two things that are holding you back. One, you're not tooting your own horn. You're not letting people know, here is my zone of genius. Here is how I am awesome. Here's what makes me different. Here's how I can help. Here's how I can serve. And maybe that's out of consistency. Maybe that's out of fear. I was having a conversation with someone the other day. And she said, I'm just, I'm, I'm nervous that I'm going to turn people away. Like I'm scared. It's, it's nerve wracking. I get it. But I want you to flip that on the other side and say, well, what if I'm nervous that if I don't show up 
And if I don't tell you, I'm really good at helping people come up with a strategy for their social media. I'm really good at teaching. I'm really good at working very closely with my clients to help them come up with this complete plan. If I don't tell people that, I'm scared that they're going to sit there in stuck land for forever and spin their wheels. And then they're not helping the people they're meant to help. It's like a backwards ripple effect, right? Like if I'm not creating my little ripple, they're not able to make an even bigger ripple for their businesses. What is your thing? What is your rock that you're throwing in the pond that you're going to create the ripple? Because if you're not doing that, you're not making waves and you're not tooting your own horn or however else you want to say it. You're not making a splash and letting people know, here's what I do and here's how I'm awesome. You're doing a disservice to them. And chances are you're doing it out of fear or you're doing it out of, um, you know, the selfishness inside of us going, I just, I don't want this to happen or I'm concerned about this. So the first thing I would tell you is make sure that you have a strategy in place to promote yourself, to get yourself out there. And that is one of the things I work with my clients on. So if you need help with that, let me know. But if you don't have that in place, you need to sit down and you need to craft something and say, here is where, how, why, you know, all the things that I'm going to use to get my name out there. So I told you one thing and then I changed it to two. The second thing is just a lack of strategy. I see oftentimes it's this post and pray, right? Like, oh, I'm just going to throw a post out there and hope that people get it. And while I love Facebook and while I have that algorithm PDF, which if you don't have it, comment algorithm in the comments. I will make sure you get a copy of the free understanding the Facebook algorithm PDF. It is helpful. It's great information. It's got do's and don'ts and stats and math and all kinds of cool things about it. But even then, you can't rely simply on posting because if you're relying only on social media or only on posting in one place on social media, you're really cutting your business short. So you need a full-fledged strategy. You need this comprehensive plan for here's what I'm going to do to attract people to me. Here is the message that I'm going to share. Here is where my ideal person is hanging out and where I need to spend my time. Here is what I'm going to, you know, to do to nurture them, to love on them, to contain them till they are ready. Because sales statistics show us that most people, like 98% of people are not ready the first time that they see whatever it is that you have. So if you don't nurture those 98%, you're banking on the fact that 2% are ready to buy, to join, to, to become a client, to whatever it is that your, you know, your next step is. And all that time and energy and potentially money if you're using paid ads or something like that, all of that has gone to waste because you didn't have systems in place to nurture your people. So... Problem one, you're probably not promoting yourself well enough. Problem two, you don't have a strategy. So maybe you are promoting yourself well enough, but you don't have the back end. You don't have the systems. If you guys know me um, personally and you've been friends with me on Facebook for a long time, which feel free to send me a friend request. I love connecting with group members. Just shoot me a message and say, hey, I'm in your group because I get a lot every day and I I tend to delete some if I can't tell who you are. Um, but you know, if you've seen my, my Facebook profile, you've seen that my strategy has changed over the last year. And I used to promote a lot and, and post a lot on my personal timeline. And that's decreased because my strategy is different. Where I'm promoting and where I'm connecting and spending my time is different. I'm spending a lot of my time here in the group with you guys, in Messenger with you guys, in other Facebook groups, which maybe you're new here and you came from another Facebook group or you came from my, my algorithm PDF. That's all part of my strategy. That's all part of this complete you know, one piece that I have that step by step by step by step, I know exactly how I'm getting people in. And guys, here's a really fun thing. I'm getting paid to add leads to my list, roughly $1.50 a lead. Like how freaking phenomenal is that? Getting money in the door to put names on my list, to warm them up and love on them and promote myself and say, here's what I do really well. Can I help you? Can I solve your problem? Are you doing that? Are you telling people, this is the thing that I can do for you? Here is how I can get you from that point A to point B. Here is what I do for my clients. Here is what my products do for uh, my customers. Here's what my services do for the people who hire me. If you're not confident, that's the other thing. Like maybe you are promoting yourself, but it's coming across as timid. And, um, you know, people can sense even through writing, isn't it crazy? Like live video, I love live video because you 
You've seen me mess up over my words like six times already tonight in 10 minutes, right? Like it's live. There are going to be mistakes. You start to see the person. You start to really get to know who they are as a person. And you know, without a shadow of a doubt, they did not copy and paste that content from somebody else. So that is them speaking. So I, that's why I love live video. But let's say you read a post. You can sense if somebody is timid about what they have to offer. So I would go back in and reevaluate the marketing that you are using, the posts that you're putting out there, the emails that you're using, the nurture sequences, all of the things you have set in place, which again, if you don't have those, you need help with that. Comment strategy in you know the chat box and I will tell you more about what I can help you with. But if, if it's timid or it's unsure or it's not coming across from a place of confidence, that client that would be customer, that would be team member, that uh, that person that needs what it is that you have, if they have a choice between you and somebody who's damn sure that they're going to get you a result, if you're kind of, oh, well, I don't really know, they're going with a confident person. So think through that. What is your messaging? Where are you putting it? How are you promoting yourself? Are you coming across as the incredible badass that you probably are, that you have so many cool things to offer your people? Are you telling them? And if you are, what's on the back end? What is your system on the back end to make sure that you can contain them, nurture them, love on them, and serve them until the timing is right for them? So with that being said, changes coming up in the group. Uh, Well, first off, the 13th. So three weeks from tomorrow. Put it on your calendars. Haven't decided. Maybe 7.30, maybe 8 p.m. Central Time. I need to decide. But sometime in the evening, I will do a free masterclass on the six steps that you need to have in place for this comprehensive, profitable, hustle-free social media strategy. I will talk to you about how you can get paid to build your list. I will talk to you about how you can take people, take those eyeballs from social media and contain them somewhere where you can love on them and keep them and nurture them and they're yours. Because whether or not you love social media, which I do, the fact of the matter is you don't own it. It's not yours and you're building on borrowed land. So if you're not building an email list, you got to do that. If you don't have a way to capture those leads, you got to do that, right? So I'm going to share with you about that. And I'll share with you about my academy too. So academy students, if you're on, shout out, say hello. I love my academy students and I love working with them, Um, but I help them and I work with them for several months to create all of these things because it's not an overnight process. And to get that framework in place so they know exactly what it is that they need to make their steps on social media profitable, to make it effective, and to build in systems so that it doesn't have to be the hustle, hustle, hustle all the time. So if that sounds good, that's what's coming there. So that's the 13th, and I think I put in the description at the top of this video, uh, comment masterclass, I think is what the word, the word I said. So comment masterclass if you'd like the link. That's on my to-do list for tonight. So I will get that wrapped up and then we'll get that out to you guys probably tomorrow, Wednesday. Um, changes coming in the group. So in all of this, I want to foster a place for you guys to promote your businesses. I want to foster a place. You know, we have a great group of people and those of you that plug in and comment and I see you and I respond back to you, like I get to know you and I have messages behind the scenes and I love getting to know the people in this group, but I want you to get to know each other more. I want this to be more of a community where you feel safe to practice, where you still feel safe to to share what it is that you're amazing at. So you're going to start to see more structured posts throughout the week. I'm still firming up exactly what it will be, but likely here's my tentative list. Likely Monday will be like a motivation type post where I will share something, but then you guys will be encouraged to share something of your own. What are podcasts you listen to that pump you up, that give you inspiration, motivation? What are quotes? Uh, What is it that you, you know, that you rely on at the beginning of the week to kind of get you ready to go for the, the week? Is that directly promoting your business? No. But what it is, is giving you practice and it lets people get to know you. And if you guys know anything about online business is that you have to let people get to know you. So this will be a great way for you to do that. Tuesday, I'm looking at doing top tips on Tuesday. So again, I will share a resource, a tip, something strategic that you can turn around and implement in your business. And then I will say, what do you guys have to share? We have people in so many different industries here that you can pop in on that thread and you can share a tip and say, hey, um, Renee Ed, she's an academy student. Like, hey, I have this freebie and here's one of the tips that I have for my freebie. 
but for my my lead magnet, right? Um, Philip, another academy student who's on, um, you know, I have a business and we help with systems and I would highly recommend using such and such platform, blah, 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 whatever. Like, because don't just, you're not just selling it, but you're offering advice, offering tips. And think about how cool it would be is if we all started contributing and sharing tips that you may not learn everything, but if you take a little something away every single week, amazing, right? Um, I'm looking at doing, I think, like Wednesday or Thursday, like a brain break, share your podcast, share your books that you're reading, share the music you're listening to. Like, let's just take a little break and, and change things up because sometimes lose a little bit of focus when it comes to um, building online, right? Uh, Friday will probably be promote and sell. Saturday will be like, where can we find you online? So do you see like I'm building in and, and there may be a few others. If you have suggestions you'd like to see, drop them in the comments. I love to share or love to hear, but I'm building in structured posts that you're going to see routinely where, you know, I can come in here on Fridays and I can promote my, my lead magnet. I can come in here and I can talk about the Facebook group that I'm creating. I can, you know, drop a link. Now I will say spam. Ugh, nobody likes spam. So if you're going to promote something like tell us why that goes back to what I was saying in the beginning, like you have to come about it with confidence. If all you do is link drop, Nobody knows who you are or why they should check out that link or why it's going to help them, what problem it's solving. They're going to scroll right past it. And that was a waste of your time. So we'll talk through that. But I, I want to bring this into the group because I want you to have a place where you can toot your own horn. I want you to have a place where you can practice. I want you to have a place where who knows, you might get your very next customer from this group. Right. Like how fun would that be? So that will be coming. Masterclass on the 13th is coming. The Academy doors will be opening up again soon. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely let me know and we can get you on the wait list for that. Um, there will be only a limited number of spots this time. And if you've been with me for a while, I've done a five day event in the past. Now it's just the one day webinar. So I'm gonna cram everything in, give you lots and lots of value in 60 to 70 minutes, somewhere in there. Um, but guys, like I'm super pumped. And the point of today's, to chat said, I want you to get out there and I want you to promote yourself. And I want you to be very confident about what it is that you have to offer and how you can serve people and totally understand you will repel people. It's going to happen. But in repelling, you will also attract by telling people I work with online business owners. I'm going to repel people who have the Etsy shops. I'm going to repel people who are, you know, solely using a Facebook page, but then they have a brick and mortar store, right? Like I can help you, but that's not where my zone of genius is. That's not where, what my, you know, my experience is. So I'm not the best suited person for that job. But if you have an online business, if you're in network marketing, if you're building something with uh, Facebook, with social media, and you're you have like a digital product or you have services, I'm your girl. Right. Like, so I want you to start promoting yourself and I want you to get the hang of talking like that so that when you're having these conversations with potential clients. Done. I got this. I am so good at what I do. OK, so toot your own horn, guys. Lots of fun stuff coming in the group. Um, if you'd like the link to the masterclass, drop masterclass in the comments below. Um, oh, I, I always forget this is backwards. So I added the website here at the top of the video in case you ever want to go check out the website. We've got resources on there, uh, ways that you can do coaching with me. I will eventually be folding in a blog and kind of transcribe these videos and put them on a blog so you can read them. Teacher in me is like, not everybody is auditory. Some people like to read. So there you go. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. Happy Monday. Enjoy your week. I hope that it is a fantastic, productive, extremely profitable week. And I will see you guys in the group. Invite friends. Share. If you have people that you think would be interested in the masterclass, invite them in the group. We'll get them signed up as well. And you guys have a fantastic week. I will see you soon. Bye.